Hi, how are you guys doing? Let's see. Come on in and let me know where you're watching from. I don't know. This camera looks weird today. I don't know, you guys. But come on in. I'm excited about this broadcast. So let's see what we got on here. All right. So let me know where you're watching from so I can shout you guys out. Hey, man, come on in. Come on in. Hey, man, I'm excited about today. Let me know where you're watching from. Let's see. How you doing? Good to see you, Nakia. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, you guys, we just prayed 50 days of deliverance. 50 days of deliverance. How are you guys doing? Let me know where you're uh, coming in. I see Kim's in the house. I see Nakia's in the house. Good to see you. Good to see you. I feel like a filter is on or something. I, mean, I, I don't know. But anywho, um, yeah, the Lord is good. Amen. So today we're going to be talking out of my new book. It cost me everything, right? It cost me everything. It cost me everything. You can get this on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. Amen. So I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. How you doing, Prentice? Good to see you. How you doing, Tawana? Good to see you. Let's see if I um, get the man of God on here. Amen. So we got a special broadcast. Pride cost me everything. What Alex in here? Okay, Hades in the house. Coretta, Rashida's in the house. Amen. Share. Good to see you, Demetrius, North Carolina. I want to encourage you guys. Invite uh, in my followers. In my followers in. How you doing, Alex? How you doing, Alex? Good to see you. How you doing this evening? You have an ear bud? No, man. Oh, because you're in. Oh, because you're in. website prophetisk.org so i'm excited so we had we just got off the phone you guys we did 50 days of praying for deliverance today was day number one and a bunch of people said they got delivered so i give god praise for that amen so um while we wait for um alex to come back on are you guys enjoying the broadcast so far the interviews and have y'all gotten a book let me know if y'all gotten a book or if y'all enjoying it so far um and you know this this book covers a lot i mean good to see you miss angela good to see you all right so so far we talked about um you know we talked about adultery we talked about uh alcoholism we talked about anger we talked about depression we talked about divorce we talked about domestic violence we talked about fear um we talked about adultery we talked about molestation. Okay, good. I'm glad you don't get yours. Thank you for supporting. We appreciate you. We talked about perversion. We talked about rape. We talked about ungodly soul ties and witchcraft. So we have been covering a lot, a lot of, you know, just um, hot topics, I say. Yes, I thank you for calling and uh, supporting Amen. I thank God for this movement. Last night, you guys, I got attacked in my body. Like I had so much pressure in my chest, so much, and I, I couldn't even I couldn't even go to sleep. But I began to just pray and cry out, and then I began to watch a minister that I follow, and he was healing the sick, and that anointing came, uh, you know, in my room, and I felt the fire of God go all in my body, and I was like, <sighs> I was able to go to sleep. Amen. So it was just an indication of what God is uh, going to do. So let me see if he's ready. Uh, let me see if I can get him back on. And I don't see him uh, back on yet. So just, uh, let's see if he's back on. This is going to bless you guys. Amen. All right, let's see if he's back on. Let me know, Alex, if you're back on. 
He's trying to pull him back up. Amen. So, um, I wrote a chapter. I wrote uh, the chapters I wrote in this book. You know, I, I talked about lust, um, and lust cost me everything. That was one of the uh, when I wrote this, it was like therapeutic, and I didn't realize I was suppressing a lot of information. So I began to write about lust, and I just began to, uh, you know, God began to reveal the source of certain things, and yeah, it's going to bless you, because I share my, my full testimony. I never really shared that with anybody um, into this book. So let me see if he's back on yet. Let's see if I can get him back on. Alex, I don't see you. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't see, I, I, I see your name, but I don't see if I can add you. Can you send me a request, Alex? Can you request to join? Can you request to join, Alex, so we can try to add you back on? Okay, he's off and... Okay. I don't see him, uh, I see his name, but for some reason, I, I, I don't see a request to join. Yeah, I can't. I can't add you. So you you're gonna have to uh, hit the button with the two people and request to join, so we can get you back on. If not, then yeah, I don't know if me having my headphones on will help any. Okay, I see your name. We're going we to work this out, you guys. We're going to work this out. All right. Can you can you uh, come off and come back in? I, it might be your device. Because I, I, I think for some people, the phone worked the best. Some people tried the tablets. And I, I wasn't sure they was able to connect. Some people even tried from the uh, laptops. The, the, it, it didn't work. So we'll, we'll try again. Uh, hello. Let's see. You might want to get another device, and I think he'll, I think he'll come right back on. Amen. So, um, let me know if you're enjoying reading the book so far. If this book is blessing you, let me know, you guys. This ain't the time to get shy. This ain't the time to get quiet. Let me know if it's, uh, if it's blessing you. Okay, let me see. Okay, I see you back on. I I guess um let me see. If you can if you can get back on your cell phone, I don't know if it'll work. Some of my uh somebody inbox them and help me out. Somebody inbox Alex and help help me out to tell them what to do. Coretta or you know uh I will say Lashana, if you can, let him know what to do. Oh, thank you so much. I, I can't get him more here. You, you just want to try on your phone, man of God? Let us try on your phone. We're we going to get you back on. Okay, I see him. Let's see if this work. Oh, you got headphones? It's no sound. No sound. You got you got there you go. I can hear I can hear you now. No. I can't hear you. We're gonna figure this out. Can y'all hear him? Good good to see you, Emmanuel. I know sometimes you gotta take the headphones out and then put it back in. I mean, we gonna get this, you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about what God is doing, though. Okay, I see him trying to add him back on. 
Hey man, yeah, I, I couldn't hear no sound on him either. We are gonna get this. Yeah, this this is this is gonna be powerful. It really gonna be powerful. Yes, definitely. Okay, he's back. He's coming back right now. No, I can't hear you. No headphones. Is it? Okay, I no still have. No I have static with a. Uh, you can have. I have a reverb with the uh, no headphones. Um, not really. Not really. Well, well, for me, you do. For me, you do. I just, let me see if this, 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 Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Whitney, for saying that. We received that. We received that word. Amen. I'm telling you, it is gonna be great. I still can't hear you, Alex. Okay. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. That's a little better. Or it's still yeah. A echo. Yeah. We'll, we'll just um, go through it. I could try to grab another pair of headphones. I have. I think I have another pair right there. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> y'all guys are so patient y'all guys are so patient yeah you guys um who called in on the uh the deliverance call today who called in today hey man i know uh lc called in leslie called in things alicia called in all right that's that's a good idea, Rashida. Uh, does he have a shortage in his headphones? I don't know, but hopefully he'll come right back on. Yes, thank you so much for praying. I'm, I'm telling pride. We some of us we we, we dealt with pride, uh, and this is going to set a lot of people free. Amen. So Tawana called in. I thank God. Okay, let me see. Let's see if you add him on. Okay, Rhonda called in. Thank you for calling in. Leslie called in. Rashida called in. Is this one better? Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, he got it. Finally. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm yes. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize to everybody. I apologize to you, Prophet. Is on. I'm so sorry. Oh, Thank you, everyone, for being so patient and just waiting and for the encouraging words. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate the support and the appreciation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So tell people about yourself, Alex, and tell them how we connected. Um, well, my name is Alex Hard. I'm from General, Louisiana. Um, we connected on a prophetic miracle call for healing um, and words of wisdom, and it was very accurate. You know, um, a lot of things were said, and it started coming to pass, and it's still coming to pass. Because um, I noticed with the word of the Lord, it's never just a right now thing. You know, everything takes steps to come to pass. And, you know, I thank him for ordering my steps because from that call, I connected, and, you know, now we're here. You know, and, and um, I'm just seeing a lot of fruit from it, you know. Um, and a lot of people is proud of what's going on, and, you know, God getting a lot of glory from this, so... It's marvelous. Uh, everything is still new for me. Um, I'm still taking my beginning steps, um, but I don't really want to put any hindrances on anything either. And, you know, I won't say I don't do this, I don't do that. I don't want to put any hindrances on anything because it's so early in my walk with the ministry and everything. Um, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of faith, so I kind of expect the impossible, so... Um, and I, I really appreciate this for being a foundation of my stepping stones. Yeah. And thank you again, Prophetess, also. We all come from somewhere. I know we all got a pass. Amen. So I, I applaud you for stepping out and just allowing God to just to have his way in your life. 
and thank you for being a co-author on this project. So you wrote about pride. So tell us what pride is. What is pride? Pride is arrogance, boastfulness, um, lack of comprehension, lack of understanding. Um, pride is is a monster. Pride can kill you before you even start. Pride, pride is, pride is one of your biggest enemies that you ever face in life. Um, pride, pride is something to keep an eye for. Yes, you you gave uh, a scripture. I love it. You said pride goes before destruction. And a hearty spirit before a fall. And I, I think that's so true because you said uh, pride is a monster. And that's what monsters do. They come to destroy, like, ar, 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 you know. And right. uh, it, it definitely can destroy everything. So um, I love how you gave those uh, those scriptures. Thanks. And I know um, you talked about a little about, about your story. Your, your testimony is really powerful and it's encouraging, you know. And somebody really needs to hear that, uh, that your, your story. Um, you talk about envy. How does pride cause our envy? How does pride and envy work together? <clears throat> See, when they actually coincide and work together because you really can't have one without the other. They kind of clash at an existence um, because once you just, after a while, keep walking on this high cloud and placing yourself way up here, um, people are not going to like you. You know, people are going to disagree and people can't agree to disagree. That's the free will that God gave every man, but um, that's what comes with it. And envy is never anything positive. Nothing is positive about envy. Envy is a negative effect, and a negative effect is not of God. So, with all that being said, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work right with what you're trying to accomplish. So, the pride brings everything that brings everything else negative. Yeah, and I, and I, when when uh, I was reading your chapter, I was thinking about, yeah, like you be prideful, and then that spirit can cause you to be envious of other people. Like I'm the head macho or whatever, you know. So right. That's how I took it when I was reading your your uh, your chapter. What about destruction? How does pride cause destruction? I believe once you um. Once you've been a boastful person, and people could take things from you. They're going to take pleasure in taking it from you, you know, um, if they can sort of say so. You got to expect to to get shot at. You got to expect the unexpected when you're a prideful person. You got to expect things to maybe not go your way, and you might not see it. And that's the thing that's going to destroy you because it might catch you from a corner shot. You might not even notice that it was about to happen because, you know, when you're prideful, there's a lot of things that you don't see, you know, um, it's like you're your own God, you know, you, you might idolize yourself, you know. Um, so the destruction that will come, it will hurt you. It will hurt. <laughs> it, this this reminds me of like, um, like, for example, Lucifer, he was very prideful and that got him kicked out of heaven. And then um, you also said in your, your, your chapter that pride can destroy you. Like you, you can lose your job for being prideful. You can lose your money properties, your family. You talked about all of this. Um, this how it could cause destruction in our lives. Um, and I know God, he opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Mm -hmm. um, so you talked about shame as well. How does pride cause shame? How does that relate to um, each other? Well, a lot of times, you know, people always think, um, I was right about this. I was right about that. And like, that's pride, you know, that's pride working when it's going on. And a lot of times you'll find out that you wasn't right. Um, this wasn't true. Uh, this this could have been done differently and taken another way into a better context. And uh, when you have your back against the wall and, you know, um, everything is all said and done and it's just you, you in the end you would be shamed. Because you're not Absolutely. always right. Your pride would get in the way, you know. And you're not. You're gonna find out you're not always right. Absolutely, especially like if you were up here and then you got all cocky minded and then you lost everything. That could be shameful. Right, very shameful. They're not right. used to you like that. That's different. You know, that's different for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. So you talked about deposed. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. That's yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
how does that go with pride? Depose just means um like taking away, taken from strip. Um and once you um have like a certain title or whatever you want to give yourself and you know you get too prideful about it, you get too arrogant about it, you can lose it. You have a higher chance of losing it because you know some people want to see you lose. They don't, you know, so that kind of comes with it too. And that's a effect and that's with the destruction. They all the steps kinda and the consequences kind of work together. They all follow each other. That makes sense. So pride can cause you to lose everything. Lose everything. Oh my God. So tell us tell us about your story or a little bit of your testimony. Like what happened? What? Um, well, in my testimony, I pretty much opened up about my life, um, how a lot of things started for me, um, with my music. Um, I do a lot of, I do music, so, um, I already, a lot of things started with me kind of having popularity, I'm going to use that word, popularity and notoriety, and, um, it's just a lot of different events transpire and it causes you to get to him. You know, people always say we can't question him and, you know, we don't know his workings, but when he can pull you to him through all of that, that that's the whole plan. I believe that's what I'm reading and that's what I'm noticing. And um, today, as I was meditating, I, I, I ran across this verse soon as I woke up and it was Luke chapter 8 verse 39 and it said return to thine own house and show how great things God had done unto thee and he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus had done unto him and so with me now that's where I'm at you know I just want people to know that what side I'm on which you know was the fences was real and how he could change and how he's a forever changing and on time God. Amen. So like in, in your testimony, I, I, I thought it was so powerful because you, you. you grew up and you had a lot of things going. You was uh, kind of in the music industry. I think you said you was known in your region. And yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You had a lot of money. You can get like, and you wasn't like living for the Lord then either. So, um, but you had a lot of money and the girls. And I mean, my like that. my parents was so you know, and I was kind of living off of their feet. You know what I'm saying? I was living off of my grandmother's prayers and my mama prayers and you know my aunt prayers and stuff. I mean, I would go to church and stuff, but you know, I started kind of believing in myself a lot too. Yeah. Um. So you got to like up there in your music career. And yeah. then what happened from there? Like when you got up here? When I got up there, um, this is my first time actually opening up a body, but when I got up there I kinda um seen a lot of things. I seen a lot of the turbulence that comes with up there. I mean, it it's it's beautiful, it's fun, you know, and um I mean to just to get paid for doing, you know, something you really love to do, you know, that that always plays a lot, but um I also read like what what is it if a man could gain the world and lose it all? Like, so it, um, it just wasn't lining up for me or for what I, you know. It's just some of the side effects that came with it. You know, you just gotta, be, and you know, I'm not saying that to um scare anybody or nothing, or uh, about the music or industry or anything. But you know, it's just more about being aware and um understanding your beliefs and standing on them and having some strong morals. And I think now my moral is so strong, it's really kind of hard for me to, to walk on a certain line with certain things. Yeah. So you, um, just kind of going back to your testimony. So, um, you was, you was up here, but you kind of had some pride. And the people that you used to call and they used to answer the phone, after you lost everything, they weren't answering the phone no more. Um, no, man. And then you kind of hit, hit a, bro uh, uh, a low point in your life. And but in the meanwhile, like you was wrecking the cars and you got in trouble and then your mother she was still praying for you, still praying for you. It was about, about a ten, that moment. And this about a ten year time span. It was a lot it was a lot of uh, a lot of in and out incidents and um occurrences like with law enforcement. And it wasn't just in um in Louisiana, we don't have counties, we have parishes. And it wasn't just in my parish, it was like in 
in a few parishes around me, around my county, you know. So, I mean, I just, I was just moving real fast. But I was so young also, you know, and I was having so much fun. But it, 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 I was just moving fast. <laughs> yeah, so so pride cost you to lose, like, your where you was at in music before, and then it cost you to lose, like, some money and you got in trouble. Um, um, the, turn, turn the Go ahead. That too, and um, but the whole time when I was doing the music or whatever, I was working too. I had different jobs and stuff, but that kind of didn't coincide too well either because um, it was certain jobs like you know, they always they they might have felt like I wasn't a hundred percent there because I would have you know so many concerts every weekend you know and you know, like I said the, the the payment for it wasn't bad you know and. And I'm, I might have was pride for there, and I might have felt like I didn't need to be there either, you know. And just it, it really came into, you know, it came into a bad effect with a lot of things. But through it all, God is good, you know. He always held me, um, had me like Joseph, you know. People always took a liking into me. Um, I mean, I'm just walking with Him now, you know. So, um, at at your low point, um. Uh you begin to, you got on your face, you just had to say, God, I humble myself. And as you humble yourself, you begin to cry out to God and seek him. And uh, you begin, um, God broke that off. And you, can you tell us about that process of just when God began to deliver you from pride? It was a long process. Um, Actually, I think what, what, what held me the most was reading his words. I know my aunt, she told me to, like, maybe in 2016, she she told me to read John chapter 1, verse 1. By, in, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And it took me a long time to understand what that meant. But she made sure she told me to read it slow. And she gave me a message Bible, and the message Bible, like, expanded my mind because I was already reading so many books. I like to read, but... When I got the message interpretation, it, it gave me a better a better seeing of things and and from there I I kinda I actually didn't try to start doing things differently. Things just started doing it on self differently. Just from reading so much and understanding just from letting the word sink into me, it started coming outwardly on its own. So if some people right now are watching and struggling with pride, what would you tell them to get free? First, give it to God. For one, give it to God and let him take control. And that's it. You know, just give it to him. Pray every day. You know, that's my biggest thing. You know, prayer moves them out. Prayer, prayer is everything. And, and, you know, like I said, it's always a process. It might not be right then and there, but. I believe that you know he always going to show up for you in his time. So praying and and letting him have his way. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and um, I always tell people, don't get the big head when you prophesy one time or God use you. Because there's more. There's more for all of us to grow. And there's more. Um, and, and stay low. You know, lay prostrate. You know, after God uses you, say thank you, God. Give God praise. You know, um, and, and like you said, read your word every day, pray, you know, fast. For me, I, I, I had to fast. And like, this this got to get out of me. I got to bring this flesh and this subjection. Mm -hmm. And within the past, um, maybe last year, I really learned about that technique. And that's a real powerful technique that's very, you know, unspoken. A lot of people don't like to, you, they don't speak on that side. And I believe that the power of fasting is, is significant to your prayers, I believe that Absolutely. is very significant. And um, I, I, I'm not the one to dictate and tell, you know, somebody specifically how to fast because it wasn't presented to me that way. But, you know, I will find, you know, getting in the real spiritual one and letting it stick and, and just building from there. Just building, you know, just building on your fast. Yes. Absolutely, yes. So th th that changed my life and just realizing that how much we need him, you know, because, like, I've been there. Like, I, you know, I had things like a five bedroom house and I lost it like overnight, you know, stuff like that. You, and you, we don't want to get prideful and forget where we come from, or we don't want to get in a place where we feel like we don't need God. Cause you can have it today and be, it be gone tomorrow, you know? So when I think about that, right. Amen. Be humble. 
just my dependency on God that really keeps me just humble. Um, so um, I want to get ready just to uh, transition, and I want to just pray for some people that's uh, dealing with this area of pride, and we just come against pride okay. in Jesus' name. If you're on here, if you're struggling in with Jesus pride, name. we just command that spirit to come up out right now in the name of Jesus. Come up, 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 out. We renounce pride. I decree that we're going to be humble in the name of Jesus. You in know, the name of pride Jesus. Pride comes before destruction, a, a proud look before a fall, a hearty look before a fall. God exposes the pride, but he gives grace unto the humble. So I prophesy that we're going to walk in humility. I prophesy in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We're going to walk it rightly before God. I prophesy that we're going to get on our face. We're going to get on our knees. We're going to keep seeking God. And we, uh, we we won't steal the glory of God. We will not steal his glory. And we're going to mm. recognize, you know, Jesus. his sovereignty. We're going to recognize our need and our dependent, dependence for him. Amen. amen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. In Jesus' name. And I know amen. there's people that's watching and, you know, uh, you know, the Lord is calling you, you know, open arms. I know people that came on here. I know some of some of you guys are backslidden. Some of you guys, uh, you know, straddling the fence. But there's an opportunity today to receive Jesus. If you want to see Jesus in your heart, if you want to go higher and give your life to Jesus, just put me up here. Just put me, uh, me. And man, I started to feel the word of knowledge. I started to feel somebody. Have Amen. Me too. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You're not in, you're pain you're not in back pain, are you? You don't have back pain, do you? Is your back hurting? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had um a back uh a back problem um a few like last year around this time. No, is it is it in pain right now? I feel like on yes, man. I mean, it, it, that's why I had it. It's kind of always in pain on the left side. Okay, because I, I, I feel it so strongly. Father God, we just lift up Alex right now in the name of Jesus. We curse the pain. Right now, the stubborn pain, we break it, we break it, we break it, we break it in Jesus' name. And we send forth the fire, God, upon him now in Jesus' name. And, God, we thank you, Father God, that you are touching now. And, God, I thank you, Lord, that that pain has to break, that cycle, that stubbornness has to break in Jesus' name. And I feel it feel kind of, is it throbby? I feel like it's throbbing. It's stubborn. I break that stubborn pain in Jesus' mighty name. I break it. We take authority over that spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jesus I command name. that spirit to loose its own hold right now in Jesus' name. Amen. There's some people right now, amen, that we need to give our life to Jesus. We need to say, God, I need you. We need to say, God, I have a dependency for you. God, Lord, I want you to have your way in my life, have your way in my heart, Jesus. Lord, I want you to do a work in me. Lord, I, I don't want to lose, you know, the blessings that you have given me because I feel like I got it. Amen. The word of God amen. says God gives us power to get wealth. Amen. So pride will come in and pride will make you feel like you did everything by yourself. And you will neglect God. You will neglect, you know, that God had his hand in it all alone. And you will shut him out. Amen. That's what pride does. That's why pride comes before destruction. Amen. And, a, and a hearty look before a fall. But you don't have to go that route. Amen. So repeat after me. Jesus, I Jesus. believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. My I confess with my mouth. That God rose you from the dead. That God rose you from the dead. Lord, I shall be saved in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, I shall be saved in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So Amen. you said that prayer today. I just want to welcome you to the body of Christ. Amen. Please uh, connect uh, with Brother Alex and me. Amen. Uh, we want to give you some information. Alex, do you have any uh, information you want to tell? Any last closing words or anything like that? Um. Well, look, I thank y'all for you all support and everybody that has been asking me to purchase a copy of the book. Thank you, Two Prophets, for, for, for the opportunity to do this. And there will be a lot more to, you know, to glorify the body of Christ, you know, um, that's really where everything at with Alex Hart. You know, we want to glorify the body of Christ. Amen, amen. And thank you for stepping out. I know it's probably diff difficult for you, different, you know, like first time. <laughs> you open right. it up, like, oh. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for pushing us, you know, and pushing. Thank you so much for everything. I know, like me, I had to get out of my comfort zone. I know you do music, and me and my husband, we, we work on stuff, too. 
behind the scenes. And this season, the Lord got me singing. I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, it's out of my comfort <laughs> right. zone. But, <laughs> but I'm just like, okay, God, I'm not going to hold back no more. I'm going to go forth and just let you have your way. So, yeah, it, it, it helps you grow, you know, when you get out your comfort zone and just do something more and more. So I, I applaud you for just going forth. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Glory guys, I Jesus. love you. And we'll talk to you later. I got to get ready to go get my son from school. So Y'all have a good weekend. You two prophetess. Okay. Bye-bye.